Welcome as you join us in an exciting Dominion Power Kingdom Experience Holy Spirit Authority Pack session brought to you by Global Diplomat College Center and Forbes Global. Now, as you join us in this online Kingdom of God seminar now in progress with God's Holy Prophet and Ambassador of the Kingdom of Heaven, Joseph Forbes, we are transforming students into leaders and leaders into agents of change. Before we continue, please subscribe to this channel and give us a thumbs up. Kingdom Concept of Authority Part 2 There are two objectives. One, the source of authority is leadership. Two, the source of power is knowledge. I want to focus on kingdom concept of authority part one. There are others concept of authority. Kingdom of God has a unique definition of the word authority. What is God's idea? What is God's mind about the kingdom of God authority? The United States of America, China, France, England, the Western culture, they have their idea about authority. Many Western culture all over Europe have their idea of their country. Authority is built in their culture. I want to make a few statements. The United States of America, USA, the greatest nation on the planet. Do you not know that the word authority frightened Americans? Why? What is the purpose? Because that 300 years built on rebellion and the greatest nation United States built on rebellion. The seed is in United States of America culture for about 300 years. <laughs> wow! Do you not know that the seed of rebellion promoted meaning of rebellion means it promoted like water, promoted sun, like bright sunshine in a bright sunny day, promoted the whole room of the house. It lighted up. It filled something. The seed of rebellion is not only promoted social culture economical culture political culture it also promoted religion culture where people do not trust their authority their bishop their pope their pastor their priests people do not trust them their leadership they don't submit to their authority. I want to make a few statements. The greatest gift God gave to humanity, you and me, is not Jesus. The greatest gift He gave to humanity, it is authority. Is the greatest protection of safety. When you get in trouble, and when folk break open your house, and folks steal, and folks did you wrong, who you call? 
You call the a siren. They come to you with a siren. Ooh, with a siren. Ooh, with a siren. And they make it to you to bring safety to your family. Do you not know that why leaders of the 21st century and the modern day churches are falling a sin? Who some are gay, some commit sin, some commit sin with the members, and so much chaos in your churches. Do you know why? Authority is your greatest protection because of pastors and bishops, pope and priests, have no one could execute authority in their personal life and bring correction. These pastors are out of control. These bishops are out of control. Your faith preacher, your prosperity preacher, your religious preacher are out of control. They have no one to bring them correction. Write this down, please. Matthew 28, 16 through 20. NKJV. Then the eleven disciple, a disciple is a student. The kingdom of God have no church member. They have student, disciple, kingdom citizen. The eleven disciple went up into a Galilee, into a mountain, where Jesus appointed for them. They then went to church. Oh, they didn't appoint the seminar. Jesus did. He the leader. He appointed to them a seminar. 17. When they saw him, they worship. They didn't have no praise and worship. They worship in the citizen or build worship. In your spirit or build worship. God is the spirit. They that worship him. Must worship from all your spirit and spirit and in truth. So they worship him. Not by singing song. Not by singing a religious song. They just worship. Worship is not what you sing. Worship is who you are. They worship him. But some doubt it. 18 verse. And Jesus made a statement. I'm quoting Jesus. Jesus came and spake, saying, saying, all, A-L-L, -L, every authority, everywhere, all authority has been given to me in heaven and in earth. The hundred and, the hundred and sixty 95 nations on earth. Jesus Christ have the authority. He said it will be given unto me well in heaven. That means the spiritual authority and the physical authority have been given to me in heaven and earth. Wow. See, authority have to be given. Many of you say you are a pastor. Who give you that authority? Many of you say you are prophets and teachers. Who give you that authority? Authority is a gift. It has to be given by an, one who is a king in authority. For example, the president appoint ambassador or the president has his leadership team around him and the Senate and the Congress, and they appoint leaders. They appoint leaders after they have been elected. But Jesus Christ is the Congress, he's the Senate, and he's the King. The word authority in Greek means exousia. Exousia means power, means authority, means control, means dominion. God gave our forefather exousia. Kingdom dominion. 
mean delegate authority. Authority have to be delegated to you by a king. Authority mean the right to use influence or command. When you see a police, you see him with a badge and a gun. That means he have the rights to use the authority. The military have a right from the commanding chief to use that authority. The doctor has authority. The judge has authority. The police has authority. Your mom and dad has authority. They have rights to exercise authority. What is the differences between power and authority. Now, a lot of folks have power, but they ain't get the authority. That power that you have is illegal, but you need delegate authority being given to you. What is the difference between power and authority? Power refer to ability, potential. How you conduct the behavior of others. Authority reflect to the legal rights. You have legal rights to influence other behavior. You have legal rights to influence other behavior. The greatest gift God give to humanity, it is authority. When God create the heaven and the earth, God built in authority in the heaven and the earth. He built in nature, authority. All nature has authority. I'll define it, I will, I will teach you, I will explain to you, I'll show you where God built in authority in nature. God created a greater light. The greater light shall rule the day. It's called the sunlight. It has the ability for 12 hours from morning to evening. It has the ability of sunlight. Built in authority. The moon has a lesser light, which is darkness. Built in to control darkness. In every seed, there is a tree. The rights and the power and authority of that seed is when it gets in the earth, it has built in law. And the law is called growth. Has law to grow into a large, huge tree. And out of those tree come fruits, apple, oranges, pear, bananas. Out of those fruits, we have where it came from a seed. All fish, there is a built in authority that only they live only if they stay in water. When they come out of water, they die. The authority of the fish is the water. It's called swim. He has the authority to swim. Wow. God built in everything authority. All the nation, the economical, the financial, the spiritual, the natural, God built in a law of authority. Now, Jesus called his 12 disciple, a student, on him. And he gave them authority and power. He gave them what? Authority and power. Religion teach you, Christianity, Christian teach you, that the devil is your greatest enemy. God disagree. Jesus disagree. Religion teach you, that the devil is the one and demons are your enemy. Jesus disagree. Religion teach you that your enemy is sin. 
They make their build churches on sin. Your greatest enemy is not the devil. It's not demons. It's not sin. Your greatest enemy is my people. Hosea 4 and 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. This Kingdom Seminar has been brought to you by Global Diplomat College Center through all the ambassadors in the embassy centers. Matthew 24, 14 declares, And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world as a witness to all the nations, then shall the end come. For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through Him. We want to thank and appreciate all our subscribers and viewers all over the world. Thank you so much for being partners with us in proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom. If you are not subscribed yet, please subscribe to this channel, Global Diplomat College Center, and click that notification bell for the update videos. God bless you and your families. God bless all the nations of the world. Glory to God alone, King of kings and Lord of lords.